Let's be real, I watched the Daredevil Born Again trailer completely legally. Obviously, I mean, how else you're supposed to watch something through D23? Yeah, because I can't afford shit at D23. Nonetheless, that tree looks sexy as fuck. Oh my gosh, I am so, 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 so excited. Man, oh man. And now I have a reason to live till March 2025, and then probably a week after that, and a week after that, probably because they're probably going to do a weekly release, hopefully. And it's going to be really exciting, man. I am so excited for Daredevil Born Again, man. It's honestly the same level of, I don't know, but the same level of hype, but close to the same level of hype as um, I had for the Batman back in 2020. Yeah, back in 2020. When I saw that first teaser trailer for the Batman, oh my gosh, that was some level of hype. That seriously gave me some hope to live past all that COVID shit, you know, honestly. That gave me hope to live past it. I don't know why, but it did. And this, Daredevil Born Again, gives you that same hope. And we didn't even see it. An official trailer, like technically, I didn't see the official trailer because not HD. But goddamn, oh my god, oh no, this is trying to kill me because I saw the D twenty three trailer. Shit. But I mean, come on, man, you can't deny it. this trailer looks so sexy. I mean, you can even tell the aura behind such shitty cam quality. I mean, it's just so fun, man. Just it's so fun to be back with these characters. I wasn't actually watching Daredevil when it was first coming out. I actually watched it. The instant it all came out around like 2020, 2021, around the COVID area times. I actually didn't have that same level of attachment to Daredevil when it was all coming out. But after it all came out, man, oh man, that shit was, mm, I didn't really want a continuation. And glad we have one finally, man. Oh man, Matthew Murdoch, he looks so sexy. Like it just, oh man, god damn Charlie Cox, daddy. Oh my god. Sorry, and I mean also Matt Murdock is also whoring out here. Oh my god, it was in Karen, it was in Electra. He has a new girl in the shower. Oh, he should have been me. I'm just glad there's everyone else is back though. You know, I mean, maybe a reason why. Might be a reason why Karen and Foggy are back, and because one of them's probably gonna die. So I don't know, man. I mean, I'm just so happy to see them back, though. You know, it's just for that even that one little shot of them. It was great to have them back. It's just he, they're the people that really ground Matt Murdock, and it's just a great to see that little trio again. You know, and I think it just looks so cool to see Bernthal here as well. Oh man, Bernthal looks great. I don't know if it really is continued from Echo because. The dude really slimmed down a bit. Like, he really had a fat suit in Echo, and now he's just slimmer. He just looks like he's back to Netflix Daryl form, which is interesting. I mean, it's, it'd be cool if Fisk was just stronger, but we'll see what happens. And I'm just really excited. And oh, man, oh, man. Guess who's back? My favorite addition back is Bullseye. Oh, my God. Seeing Bullseye back. And it's really surreal to think about him. Like, I really didn't think this was possible before all of this and i'm like i thought this was gonna be a soft reboot but now it's just feels like a continuation of daredevil season three which i'm so excited for while wow. actually being more comic booky because you're gonna have white tiger you're gonna have all these other mcu characters like oddly enough they're gonna bring in uh miss marvel's dad that's what i saw in the report and we did see that in the little leak trailer but we're gonna see miss marvel's dad there and interesting enough they brought in that specific actor too who has actually a lot of controversy behind him because yeah serious allegations that i mean what the fuck man it's had really fucked up allegations but you know i don't want to get into it right now and you know it just seemed like a very interesting experiment where we're gonna see how they're gonna mix in all the old daredevil elements and mix it in with all the new mcu elements that they're gonna bring in which i'm so excited for the thing about me though is that i am kind of concerned maybe more about how they balance all these storylines because they're having a lot less episodes in this season and a lot more characters and a lot more moving parts like you have punisher here you have bullseye you have the new character muse which looks awesome like i just saw a picture of muse and he looks really cool and yeah i don't know much but the dude looks sounds the character like the character like the little snippet that i've heard he sounds <laughs> he sounds fucking insane and i just I am so excited to see that character and he looks really comic accurate like i know the design isn't the hardest to adapt but i thought that daredevil would not adapt that kind of design but they did and i actually really like that and it's just it's just fucking exciting man i am really excited but i really want to see that hd trailer i hope they actually have some more footage in that hd trailer because man i can't wait to see people's reactions to it on youtube i i know that's a weird thing that i have but i really like seeing people's reactions for things that i am hyped for as well this is really, really me back into what I love about Marvel and what I love 
about my favorite character in the MCU, which is Daredevil, man. Hell, even the logo looks sexy, man. Everything about this show looks so damn enticing and so damn exciting. <sighs> yeah, now I have a reason to live to March 2025.